Ostia. It's the anniversary of the Spanish Revolution. On July 17, 1936, a group of military officers based in Morocco launched a fascist coup d'etat against the Spanish Republic. Spain's liberal president, Manuel Azaña, and the Catalan government of Luis Campanis refused to believe what was happening. But in Barcelona, the anarchists were ready. For years, FAI affinity groups like Nosotros, led by Buenaventura de Rudy, Francisco Escaso, and Garcia Oliver, have been drafting plans for the defense of the city and robbing banks to arm workers. At 4.45 a.m. on July 19th, factory sirens rang out, announcing the fascist uprising had begun. Barcelona's working class sprung into action. Barricades went up. Soldiers were led into carefully planned ambushes, cut off from one another and mowed down by snipers. Workers cut phone lines and telegraph cables. Armories were attacked and weapon depots plundered. Old women hurled insults from their verandas and threw buckets of piss on the soldiers below. It was a glorious day for anarchy. By 1 p.m. on July 20th, Barcelona was under the control of 30,000 armed anarchists who immediately set to work expropriating factories and government buildings, burning churches and religious artifacts, and organizing themselves into popular militias. The revolution was finally here. 